light. Good. Nice and steady. Look at that. Wait a second. I'm going. Got it. Got it. He's got it. That's it. You in? Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. Ready? Up. Oh, Up. Three. Twist it. Keep twisting. Right. That's it. Keep twisting. There we go. That's it. So guys, what you've just seen us do, we just lifted the case in to make sure it actually goes in and offers in. What I can see at the moment is that I've got to obviously get the nool on, the riser and the top tread. I just wanted to make sure it all fits nicely, which it's going to. We're now going to recess the top of the tread. I'm going to put a measurement from here to here to make sure that works. It looks like it's all going to work beautifully. I'm definitely going to start up there, get everything all hooked and glued in. Once I've got that, I'm then going to offer it all back in, throw it all back in, lock it in, get this plumbing level to where it needs to be, and then me and Ollie can then start working our way down and around and down to here. And hopefully, it will come together and look beautiful, I won't it? Yeah, we've got five mil to play, so... Only five mil? Five mil, yeah. Slaves, isn't it? That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Just here, you can see on the drawing that I've got from Lindale Stairs, you can actually see we've got a couple of treads up, then a couple of kites in here and then the actual main landing here and then, then the actual main staircase run here and the measurement from the back of the case then up to the back of the riser if I zoom in on that look you can actually see it's three two six nine and we're going to be pretty close to that I know that we are we're just now going to put the null posts on first at the top and then that get all the tread and everything prepped already and we've got a couple of props here to allow us to then uh, prop the staircase as we're messing around with it so that nose is going to go onto there, it's going to glue and screw on. Let's wiggle that on, there we go. We've got a couple of dowels through the side, but you can see what we've got to do is we've got to take the back of this out here so we can get the riser in here and then get the tread in. What I'm going to do is actually get it all cut and carved in, move the staircase right forward so then I can place the nut and the ply riser and then the tread on, get them all glued and screwed and then I can push it back in again. I'm really concerned if I try and lift the staircase with this nut, it's not going to go up there, it's quite a tight space to get it in. there, that then goes into that, which is lovely, we'll get a load of screws in there. So there's a couple of considerations, that's the tread, it comes to the um, top of the actual tread line here, we've got then the riser tucked in nicely, now the back of the riser always represents where the joists are. What we're going to do is we've just pop that in, now underneath here I'm actually marking, that's where I've got to notch it to, AP2, so you know from the underneath of this then, so that's pushed up nice and firmly on that tread line just here guys. So that's uh, 72. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure from the underneath the tread. I'm going to mark that as well. I'm going to put 175 in. There it is. So the reason it's 175 is because that's the size of the joist. The joist is 170 mil and it's 175. Just giving myself 5 mil tolerance just to stick it in. Okay? And the one thing I'm going to do is then I'll house this section out here now. Wiggle all this out, take that out, and you'll see the depth of what we're going to go to. The depth of that that we're going to chop out is exactly the back of this here, look, you see it there? So we're going to house out this section across here, look, underneath the tread, like that, to there. That's going to be taken out to that corner piece, across there, and then all of this will chisel that out and then we're going to come across to here like that just to make sure that's going to be 175 mil which is there this means i can then latch this up to the double trimmers that are there so right let's get cracking on with that what ollie's done is housed out the back of this this comes flush with the back of the riser so that means now the actual joist will sit onto this point here what we're going to do is we're going to glue all this in get it all in get all the uh, riser all stuck in get the wedges in that's it job done first thing i'm going to do is put those in glue now, in my world, tone can never have enough glue. I love loads of glue. Do me a favour, I'll just put a leading edge on them dowels for me. I 
probably got a leading edge on it, so I'm going to get a load of glue on this. So there we go. There we go, like that. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Look at that, we're being tight along there as well. Need a couple of screws up. 17 there, be lovely one. I'll do that beautifully one. Oh. So mate, there, yeah, that's lovely. Beautiful. On the string here, you can actually get a screw through there, mate, okay? Yeah. One, two, three, up. Screw my risers in. It's always quite dicey doing this, but I do love doing this. Sink and ride in. Uh, living on the edge, don't you, I just like living on the edge, mate. You're doing right there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There's always the banter. That's why you're going to become a chippy. That's great, isn't it? That's lovely. Grab hold of the treadwheel. Got it. That's it. Look, hook it up just nice and gentle. Now down, 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 down. Just slowly, wheel. Keep coming down. Lower it down. Lower it down. Lower it down. So hooks onto that knoll. That's it. And he's pulling towards your wheel. That's it, mate. That's it. She's pulled back. Drop it now. Keep dropping it. Keep dropping it. Keep dropping it. Woo! That'll do you. That's going to be quite close. That is now. Okay, yeah, Tom. Nice. Okay, just draw a line on there. It just gives you a bite then, doesn't it? Okay, you got it there, Tom. Hold it, yeah. Wow, oh, random touch. There. There, yeah? Yeah. There you go. So you can see here guys, we've had to like hinge the staircase out to get in because it is quite a tight staircase. Do you want to get a bit on it? Oh, you've already got a bit on it. Yeah, we'll get ready. Sorry, I'll just get a bit on it. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Give yeah. yourself a very small lead edge. Like okay, no worries. And all that does, that just makes sure it goes in where you want it okay. to go in. That's it. But it, and then what you'll do is when you hit them in, you'll hear the difference in the tone in the hammer when it hits solid ground. And then also then put some glue on them as well, Pete. Okay. So there you okay. go, there you go, Pete. There you go, that's all. Okay. okay, mate, that's it, look at that. Okay, top one first and then the yeah, bottom? Top or first, either or? Yeah. Right, so. Yeah, yeah, mate. So yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah, I hear the difference. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, that's it, mate. that's it, beautiful. So that's okay. all nice and tight now, lovely. That's it, so we can pull it this way now, mate. Okay, okay. okay. that should enough just to get it in, okay? okay. So, same again, Pete, put some glue on there, mate. Okay. Put some glue in there, and in there, that's sweet. Okay. So, I'm going to go into there, so it gives a bit of wiggle room. That went in easy, didn't it? You're looking good, there. That's it, so you screw that now from indeed, mate. I love that. That's lovely. That's it, mate. And then try and then work back and just come back a couple of inches and get another one in. Now I need to do is get some screws in here, Pete, yeah? Okay, okay. That's it, that's lovely, mate. That's beautiful, mate. Okay. Right, so what we need to do is move it back now over there, mate. Yeah, that's it. Okay, right. So I'm going to go back over there, mate, yeah? Okay, and we're okay, looking for so we've got 9mm, nine nine so I'm going to lift this up to the right place yeah. and then we can just level that off then and then we can get a fixing through this wood and leave a 9mm gap here. That's what we make. 
So what we'll do now, we'll get this riser in here, mate, yeah? Yeah. Because then it'll give all the strength that we need. So what I need to do is get your chisel. You see this here? Just chop this little back bit off here, you see it? Yeah, yeah. Chisel so that you can just slide it in into the groove first and then you'll slide it in there, mate. Take that. Uh, this up here, yeah, is it glued, glued or not? Yeah, yeah, definitely, mate. What we'll do is we'll just take the edge off that, Pete. Yeah. Take the edge off that, and then I'll just tap it in then. Glue and screw the bottom, is it? Um, or just screw yeah. Now you will put glue on the bottom, mate, but you've got to sort of imagine screw all the sides That's first. Right, mate, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the bottom afterwards, mate, okay. That face arises now, it's got it nice and tight, all that glue splurging out, nice and solid then. No, it's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna squeak as well, that's the big thing. And Ollie's gonna stand on this in a minute just to take that little bit of a bow out once we've got these two sides fixed. That means then everything will be under tension, nice and tight as well. See the glue splurging out here? Okay, Ooh, that's it, go, go Pete, go for it. Okay. There you go, that's lovely. That's Look at that guys, that's just absolutely beautiful. Pete's now just cleaning off all the glue. Let's have that out so you can clean the bottom there mate. Bob on. So this is a really good shot this is guys, because the one thing is that if you don't plumb these up once they go off, that's it, there's no going back. So you can see what Pete's doing, he's just gonna put a block in the bottom. Just to stop it from the, yeah. the null post from moving uh, until it's gone off. There you go mate, that's it. And then this way Pete, he's got to go that way Pete. Okay. I'm about 10 mil. That's it mate, you're there mate. Perfect mate, that's okay. absolutely perfect. Okay. So you can see now Pete's just tapped the null one way or the other. This is now lovely and plumb and true. So he's just going to get another screw in there. We can lock that off completely. And then tomorrow all this glue will be gone off beautifully. So guys, good morning to you. I've finished uh, fitting the staircase. Got it locked in so far, hooked up over the top on the trimmers up there. And then what we've got here is this detail here. Now, the one thing I always do, I always cut this out because it makes it easier for me to slip the riser into the underneath of the tread to get it into the groove. And then what I've got to do is then fit a tread here, and another back of the tread here, obviously treaded on this line here. And then we're gonna have a lovely detail coming through here, tread coming all the way around. I'm gonna take this back bit off here. I'm then gonna take this back bit off here so I can slip the riser in. And then I'll also then take back this back bit off here. That allows me then to uh, slip the riser into that section as well. And to do that, I'll just get my router. I'm gonna take out that section there. And what I'm gonna do is take it to that depth there, okay? So, took the cutter. Locked it off, that's it, that's what we started then. So I'll turn the back out of that one. Just gonna set the back out of this one here now. That's it, so I can ready to go with that now. Make it easier for me. There we go. What's that? Just gonna get a level on that. You can see where she's at. I've got a line. Just allows me to see where I'm gonna be pulling through. The underneath the tread as well. Just so we can see how it's going to dry fit. I'm actually going to put a screw. Let me get a screw. Yeah, just hold that for a second. in. Try it all dry. Lovely. One thing I will do as well, you see where this tread line is going to go here, because I'll get the kite in. 
I actually put a couple of pilot holes in there. Thoughts going through my head at the moment is whether I can fit this as one. I don't think I can. I'd love to be able to, but I don't think I can. That's then gonna go like that in it. Pretty much. Hopefully all the measurements are right. This is going to go gliding lovely. Yeah. There we go. Make sure whenever I put it all up, make sure she's lovely and plump. It's really important to have these two balls lining through. Pretty close to that and it's going to the bottom a little bit, but I'll make sure there's a piece of timber in between there holding it and lock this off properly. Right, hopefully this next tread will zip in very quickly. Get a little tap. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> yes. Boom. I won't dowel anything until I'm ready. Get all the case together. Get all the screws in, everything I want to do. It should be that I'll be ready to go in there now, and I won't put that in yet because it's quite important that I'll probably get this tread in here first into there once I get the main string in. So let's now lift this in. Now I've got that, I'm going to get this one in here, but I'm going to put a load of glue in there now. for the string line here. There we go. Put that in now. See all my glue coming out of the bottom, which is absolutely fine. As I keep saying, you can never have enough glue. Those glues coming out, which is great. Lovely. Putting a bit of a lead in there, John. Just so uh, I'm not fighting the dowel. Squeeze your load in the hole. Same with the one on the bottom. Put a little bit of glue on one stick. There we go. And all I do is just roll them like that. Look at that. There we go. And then that will be my first one. And that one there. Got to tap that one in. Get that one in down there. There you go, hear the sound difference. As soon as you tap them in. So what I've done guys is I've actually now got all my treads glued in. Uh, I've now set all my nulls so they're nice and plumb. So look, you can see I've used a packer off the string here to plumb this up, really nice and true. Lines them through with the other null. I've used another piece of timber 
that distance which is here, that thickness, that width, up here and then put it in between so I know this is a constant parallel gap all the way along. I've then clamped a piece of ply here and then pulled this knoll this way. So everything now all eyes through and looks correct. It's nice and square. All I've got to do now is cut my risers in. All I've got is a tub of hot water from the rag. I'm going to use that there to wipe off any excess glue that I've got. Get it right inside there as well. So sometimes I do get my chisel. Just clean that edge nice and clean. So we're going along here. to me risers. That's my next job. Seven, Friday night just to get the stairs done. So that's it, absolutely brilliant. 